Hansen. Today we are going to learn the second chapter of Marigold of English. So please turn to page number 10, mm. Wonderful Waste. That's the name of the chapter. And let's see what is a wonderful waste. Waste is not wonderful. But here in the chapter it is said like waste is wonderful. So let's see how waste becomes a wonderful thing. So Adi will read the paragraph. Once the Maharaja of Travancore. Okay, so Travancore Maharaja. Maharaja means king. Hmm. Ordered a grand dinner in his palace. Okay, so the Maharaja or the king of Travancore ordered that there should be a grand dinner in his palace. In the afternoon, before the dinner, the Maharaja entered the kitchen to survey the dishes that had been prepared for the feast. Okay. So, the Maharaja, just before dinner time, he entered the kitchen and he wanted to survey. Survey means to see, to look after what are the dishes prepared for the feast. Okay. Let's come to the second paragraph. What are you going to do with those vegetable scraps? He asked the cook, uh, pointing to the basket of scraps near the cook. Scraps means what? Scraps means piece. So, a piece of something is called a scrap. And here what pieces are there? Vegetable pieces. Vegetable pieces are there. So, the king wanted to know what the cook is going to do with the scraps of vegetables. Mm -hmm. So, what did the cook reply? The cook replied, they are waste. We uh, will throw them away. Okay. So, he said, okay, they are just waste only. We have to throw them away. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the third paragraph. You uh, cannot waste all these uh, bits, bits or, and pieces of vegetables. Find a way to use them. The Maharaja commanded sternly and walked away. So what is the meaning of the word sternly? Sternly means strongly. Mm -hmm. He commanded that no, 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 you should not throw them. Every, you should make use of the vegetables. And he just walked away from there. Okay. Then what happened? The cook was in a fix and kept uh, staring. staring at the uh, vegetable scraps for some time st uh, suddenly. Uh, an idea flashed. Across his mind. Okay. For a while the cook looked at the scraps. Mm. And suddenly. Suddenly means mm. very fast. Mm. Isn't it? Suddenly an idea came to his mind. Mm. So let's see what the idea was. He took all the vegetable bits, washed them and cleaned them well. Okay. He just took all the vegetables, washed and cleaned them. And then what did he do with the vegetables? Then he cut them into uh, long strips. He put them in a huge pot and placed it on the fire to cook. Okay. So after that he made long pieces of the vegetables. Cut the vegetables into long pieces and then kept the Vegetables for cooking. Next he ground some fresh coconut, green chilies and garlic together. After the vegetables are cooked, what did he do? He took certain coconuts. You might have seen coconuts, isn't mm. it? Yes. yes. Grated coconut he took. Then green chilies. And then what is taken? Garlic is also taken. Mm. And he ground everything to a paste, fine paste. Mm -hmm. He added this paste and some salt to the cooking vegetables. Okay, then he added, mixed this paste and along with the vegetables. Mm -hmm. So let's see what the outcome is. 
attempting small smell. smell started coming from the pot. Okay, so tempting smell. Tempting means when you feel like eat that, isn't mm. it? So nice smell came, aroma came from mm. the mm. vegetables which are cooked right now. Mm. Now he whipped, whipped, whipped some curd and added it uh, to the curry. So now what did he add? He add whipped curd. Curd is added to the curry. Mm. Mm. He also put a, a few spoonful of coconut oil and uh, decorate the dish with curry leaves. Yes. After that what did he pour? He poured fresh coconut oil and decorated the dish with curry leaves. Mm. Mm. Lo and behold, behold. behold mm. the new dish was ready. So now let's see what's a new dish. Mm. The cook served this new dish to the guests. Guest. Guests. And that. That evening mm. everyone was uh, eager. eager to know the name of the new dish. Okay, so that evening the new dish was served to the mm. guest. Yes. And everyone wanted to know what's the name of this dish. Mm. Everyone started asking, what is the name of this dish? Do you know the name of this dish? Yes. Let's see the yes. name of the dish, isn't it? Yes. Okay. Mm. The cook thought and thought then a name came to his mind. He named it Avil. Avil, yes. So the cook started thinking, what should I give name? Which mm. name should I give? Then he said, oh, let it name as Avil. Avil. Have you eaten Avil? Yes. Yes. Mm. Okay. So read the next paragraph. Avial become famous all over Kerala and is not one of the dishes in a traditional Kerala feast and imagine it all came from a basket of waste. So now Avial is a common dish, isn't it? It's a traditional dish and from what it came, from what the cook made the avian? Uh, waste of. Yes, uh, the waste of vegetables. vegetables. From the waste of vegetables, the cook made the avian. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? And now, avian is one of the most important traditional dishes, dishes. in Kerala. Yeah. So, this is a story about wonderful waste. waste. How even waste can be turned into Tasty dish. Isn't it? Yes. So this is a chapter all about wonderful ways. Yes. So in the next episode we will be learning the new words as well as the question answers. So till then bye. Take care. Bye.